to a little pre-Black Friday Ulta and Sephora haul. I picked up a bunch of things because they were having a very early sale this year. I've noticed a lot of stores are doing that, so I thought I would just show you what I got. Go ahead and get started. The first thing that I got was actually something that I've been wanting for a long time, and it finally went on a sale that I thought was worthwhile, um, and that is the Dry Bar Double Shot. This usually retails for $150, but it was on sale along with the Liquid Glass Miracle Smoothing Sealant. shampoo, and conditioner in a travel size. And the double shot, as it's described, combines the hot air of a blow dryer with the structure of a round brush to create a smooth, shiny blowout with tons of volume in one quick, simple step. And for the price of the regular product, it came with all of these extras expensive on their own, so I thought it was a good deal. The next product that I picked up was quite a splurge. As this retails for $68 was on sale a Black Friday, and I got this through Sephora for the VIP sale. This is the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. Breakthrough Protein Moisturizer Cream combines an unprecedented array of concentration of signal peptides, growth factors, supportive amino acids, and pygmy water lily for immediate improvement in the appearance of skin's tone, texture, and firmness. I'm excited to try using this. I know Drunk Elephant products are usually really Also from Sephora, and probably in one of my favorite bottles, I picked up the Glow Recipe Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. And I love this bottle because it's all glass. And it has Very convenient pump. And 
And this is meant to reduce the look of dark spots and dark circles and also vitamin C is really just good for the skin in general. I do wish it smelled a little more like guava, but I understand that usually vitamin C products can't be too fragrant or it defeats the purpose. From Sephora as well, I picked up This is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer and Natural Skin Protector, and I get mine in the shade Cameo. What I love about this product is that it's a very lightweight CC cream, but it's also good coverage, and it has SPF 30, which is so important. Sunscreen is so important for the skin. I also picked up the Sephora brand Refresh Daily Clean Brush Cleaner. oil form mist that you spray directly onto your brushes. It quick dries and then you wipe them off. Which seems really convenient. I know I need to be more consistent in my cleaning. pronouncing this correctly, but I could be wrong. If it is indeed French, I believe it's Jisu. But it's their honey infused leave-in conditioner. And I really like the simplicity of this packaging. Sephora is from Caudalie Paris, and I've seen this everywhere. It has so much hype that I really wanted to try it out. This is the Energetic C Plus Instant Detox Mask. When it tightens pores, removes excess oil, it's purifying clay.
just think the colors are so unique. And a good mix of mattes and shimmers. So we have In Bloom, Crown, Sage, Thorn, Ripe, Forbidden, Stella, Myth, E, Laurel, Radiant, Ivy, West, Obscure, Mystic, Phoenix, Locust, and Classical. These are my favorite complexion sponges. Much more affordable, I think, than the Beauty Blender. And just as effective. And they were half off. So I got two of the Miracle Complexion sponges. As well as. Neutrogena, Makeup Melting, Jelly Cleanser, and I like the way the words reflect. So I have a duo bone. This is meant to be used on dry skin. Also from Tria, one of my tried and true favorites. Vitamin C Shea Sugar Scrub.
speaking of products for the body, this was quite expensive, so I hope it's good. This is the Basha. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. Correct me if I'm wrong. The Basha Peptide Youth Restore Firming Body Serum. This is an age defiant serum that helps replenish firmness, elasticity, and moisture balance for silky soft skin all over. Enriched with essential ingredients such as tetrapeptide, niacinamide, and a soothing blend of calendula and ginger root. This luxe serum deeply hydrates to help visibly plump and protect against signs of aging and environmental stressors caused by dry skin. This was half off, which is very exciting because Lancome products are quite pricey. Very subtle, minimalist packaging, which again, I'm a sucker for. I think I might also use it on days where I don't wear makeup because it's supposed to moisturize your eyelashes. And finally, Promota. Heard a lot about this brand. This is the Love Wellness brand. And this is their Sparkle Fiber. And it was on sale, but quite expensive for a supplement. So I'm excited to see how it works. This is Innovative Beauty Fiber for Sparkling Skin. as hand cream. It's pretty fascinating. It says a little tube of magic for extremely dry lips, skin patches, cuticles, elbows, and more. And it really does smell like a green apple. It's amazing. So I hope you all enjoyed this quick Ulta and Sephora haul. I hope you're all doing well. If you have holiday plans coming up, that you have a nice relaxing holiday. Thank you for
for watching.